There he is. is. Long pause. There you go, Al. That's There's a bull. Big, that's a biggie. That's a bull. Look at that boy. Come here. Whoa. Oh, man. You can see he's starting to get a little cool. He, he's that's not bend, bending as much as he... Oh, got a double. Oh, nope. there you go. Got a double. Whoa. Oh, both big, Jim. Look at them. They're yeah. both playing together. Yeah. Look at that. Boy, yours is big. Look at that. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's got one really big fish. Mine is just a real nice one. <laughs> Who gets theirs in first? This guy here. He's got you gotta be sort of delicate with these guys. <laughs> come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Come here. We'll do it. And with these guys here, I'll do the belly scoop. Look at that guy there. What a beautiful smallmouth. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. I need the pliers. That's one thing. Jerkbait fishing, you never go without a plier. Several of them, them in the boat is key. Oh, come here, buddy. There we go. Real wow. fine wire hooks. Gorgeous wow. smallmouth. Look at that thing. Beautiful. And Elle's got a carbon copy. We'll get her back in the water. There you go, look at that thing. Boy, is that a beautiful bass. Look at that guy. Oh. I got her, I got her too. That's no slouch. I would say James's was about a pound bigger than mine, but this is a pretty darn good smallie by anybody's standards. You know, one of the rules, not rules, but observation. Yeah, you know, we fish these smallmouths all over the country, north, south, east, and west, lakes, rivers, reservoirs, and have for years. And uh, uh, some of the things we observed, number one is the clearer the water, the better the bite, the reaction bite for jerk baits. Yeah, yeah, you know, you get real dark stained water and they don't bite it that good at all. You need a little bit of uh, a clarity. And, and like I said, clearer the better. And it is amazing the different kinds of actions that you can impart in a jerk bait based on the season, from warm water to cool water to cold water. And this particular bait, this is a new bait from Rapala, and it's, good. it's called the Shadow Wrap. And this thing does things that I've never seen any other jerk bait do as far as triggering fish to biting. What triggers fish into biting? Is it color? Shape? What about sound and vibration? Or maybe a combination of all of these? Hey, what about action? I think this is one of the biggest determining factors that triggers a fish into seeing a bait and then making a commitment to strike it. The Rapala Shadow Rap has taken the word action to a whole new level. Here's the idea behind the bait. Make a lure that's imitating a dying minnow's last kicks of life, giving a fish a simple meal. For the most part, fish are generally in a neutral mood. So having a bait that can turn a neutral fish positive is a real game changer. Come here, buddy. Look at this guy here. Boy, there's another beauty. Al, I'm going to need that pliers. Look at the size of this guy here. Come here, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, man, this is a giant. Come here. Oh, look at that. Look at that one. Oh, look at that size of that one. Giant, giant bass. Come here. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Look at this thing here. There we go. Oh, man, these, this sucker here, this bait here has really super fine wire ho oh, hooks. And boy, does it get them. No question about that. There we go. Look at that thing. That's a big smama. Look at the size of that dog. We'll get her back in the water. These guys are really feeding up. I'll put her back. Aren't they, they're just amazingly beautiful. Look at the size of that thing. You know, Rapala has made a couple of different uh, jerkbait configurations, one of them being the X-Rap, which is absolutely, bar none, one of my absolute favorite fishing lures for a wide variety of different fish species. The thing is, is one thing that's different about the X-Rap versus the Shadow Wrap, number one, the X-Wrap is a floating bait or suspending bait. It actually has positive buoyancy. 
The uh, shadow wrap is actually a sinking bait and it also has a flat uh, configuration. What this bait does is when you pull it in the water, it has a, like a wiggling action. And then you, when you kill it, it actually tips head down and starts to sink, almost mimicking a minnow that's in distress. And that's one of the, uh, the design characteristics that was built into this bait. It actually comes in two sizes, or I should say lip configurations. This bait here will run about four foot. The one Al's been throwing, it runs to about seven foot. So I've been actually casting up a little bit shallower. Al's been working around a little bit deeper off the ledges with it. But we'll get back out there and see if we can get another one here. Actually, this bait fishes deeper than seven feet. You could fish it seven, eight, nine, ten feet down. It is a slow sinking bait, and uh, uh, you just got to have a little bit of patience. And it's incredible how little you have to do with the rod to make the bait work. I mean, you listen, you can almost fish this thing in place. The slightest twitch with the rod and that bait, in many cases, you can make the bait do a 180 a 180 right into the fish's face. It's got so many unique attributes from the dying flutter to the 180 where it reverses into, in, into the fish's face. These are all triggering factors that bait doing something completely different triggers these fish to bite in a wide variety of conditions. You can fish it super, super slow and just barely touch that rod and it's responsive. It's really something to see.